A large part of Rodin's sculpture collection is in the gardens, and I decided to visit Musée de Rodin on what felt like the coldest day of the year. In spite of the cold, I really enjoyed myself. I loved the layout of the gardens and was pleasantly surprised to learn that Rodin had paintings as well as sculptures on display. I discovered the fact that Rodin's most famous sculpture, The Thinker, is a small part of a much larger piece titled The Gates of Hell. There were quite a few sculptures there that were scaled up pieces of The Gates of Hell, which is essentially fan art of the Divine Comedy by Dante. It's rare that I get to go to a museum that is dedicated to showcasing the body of work of one artist. One of the best parts of this museum was seeing how Rodin developed his artistic voice. Something that I personally overlook in my own art is the importance of planning. Throughout the gallery, you see the same sculpture, sometimes in different sizes, some of them more rough, but always multiple iterations of the same work. It was honestly amazing to see what was essentially Rodin's process. It was really